And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning and happy Friday. We are off to a dry and also a clear start to the morning. Let's take a look outside across Idaho Falls. Again, you could see the sun rising. Roadways looking very clear out there. So overall, a smooth morning commute to close off the work week. Temperatures out there, though, across the Idaho Falls area, very cold. Four degrees in your area. We're at six in Rexburg, 15 across Blackfoot. We are at 17 degrees in Pocatello. Some of the higher terrain is seeing temperatures below zero. So definitely bundle up for this morning. Area of high pressure just to our south will kind of make temperatures feel like we'll be in the spring today. Pocatell will be in those lower 50s. Area of high pressure keeps us sunny. It'll also keep a southerly breeze coming into our area, so that will aid in driving temperatures into those lower 50s. But it may feel like spring today, but it'll feel like winter tomorrow night. Another storm system starting to build in from the Pacific Northwest. This will bring us snow to our area, so we'll see some snow across the Snake River Plain, including Pocatello, Saturday night into Sunday. So for the the Snake River Plain, we could see one to three inches of snow from this, and let's time that out for you. This is tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Just seeing some clouds out there to start off the morning. Most of the daytime hours across the Snake River Plain are dry, but then by about five o'clock, we could start to see some showers pass through. Most of the snow starting across the highlands into the western half of Wyoming, and once I put it in motion into the overnight by about 1030 into Sunday, we'll see that snow become a little bit more consistent, a little bit more steady, and also more moderate and that's where we'll pick up most of our accumulations even into the early morning hours of Sunday notice the snow still continuing so if you have any travel plans for the overnight Saturday night into Sunday definitely be aware of that even on Sunday it could be a bit slick out there but for today not dealing with any snow just a lot of sunshine in the sky a really beautiful winter day out there with high temperatures in the 30s to even the 50s 52 today for Pocatello 41 for Blackfoot it'll be much cooler across Idaho Falls only at 32 degrees across the central mountains. Plenty of sunshine in the sky. High temperatures for the most part staying in the 30s. 39 for Ledore, 44 for Stanley, 39 across Chalice. And for the highlands in western Wyoming, lots of sunshine. Temperatures a bit cooler than the Snake River Plain staying only in those 30s. And we'll see that wind from the south continue from tonight. That will help keep temperatures across the lower half of the Snake River Plain in the 20s. We'll also see some clouds out there as well. It'll be 15 tonight in Idaho Falls, 21 for Blackfoot, Pocatello, you will be at 27 degrees for tonight. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven day forecast leaves us with a few snow showers possible tomorrow afternoon. Most of the snow Saturday night into the Sunday time frame. We will be partly cloudy for Monday with temperatures climbing back up into the lower 50s by next Thursday. Idaho Falls mainly sunny for today. We'll see a few snow showers tomorrow afternoon. Most of it coming Saturday night into Sunday and then into early next week. Temperatures into the 30s. Teton area expect to see a mainly sunny sky today, rain and snow tomorrow afternoon and across the central mountains. Mainly sunny today with snow showers Saturday and Sunday.